Through this series, you've seen it all, from technology to stress to sleep. You've got an inside look at your powerful mind. But we haven't yet talked about one of the most important times you use your brain when you're a teen, in the spot where you spend the majority of your day, school. Did you know your brain is kinda like a muscle? You have to lift heavy weights to build your muscles, and the same goes for your brain. So the next time you get frustrated with a math problem, don't shut down, keep pushing through. That struggle is actually making you smarter. And just knowing this point can help you learn. It's called a growth mindset. Students who know they can become smarter do better than even naturally smart students who have what's called a fixed mindset. That's when you think of intelligence as set. And when something is hard, you believe you've hit the top end of your intelligence. Your behavior can actually lead to changes in your brain. So if you take on a new activity and practice it over and over again, your brain will actually change and respond to the activity to allow you to become more efficient and better at that activity. So now you know how to think about learning, but how can you make the most of your brain? Of course, you've heard of this before, a good diet and exercise, but you might not know just what a big impact they can have on the brain. Foods like salmon, avocados, nuts, and blueberries can keep your brain sharp, improving your memory, blood flow, and learning capacity. You know what? I think I'll have another one. Researchers have found that when you do workouts that boost your heart rate, you can also boost the size of your hippocampus, the part of the brain that controls memory and learning. I've been working out for three years now constantly, and I have noticed a GPA increase. And of course, give your brain some time to recharge by taking a break from technology and getting a good night's sleep. That extra boost can make a difference on a test. Now, how do you turn those brain tips into tricks? Let's start with how you study. Try writing down your notes. Yes, with a pen and paper. Studies show students who write down their notes remember the information better than those who take notes on a computer or phone. I find that I feel more connected to something I write by hand. I realized that when I hand wrote one of my homework assignments. I had a different ownership over it than when I just typed something, and I don't know if that was just me. Here's another tip. Before a test, instead of just reviewing your notes, take a practice test. Research has shown students who study by taking mock-up tests rather than just going over their notes do better on the real exam. And if you can, take a quick exercise break at least 20 minutes before the test. Just that alone has been proven to boost scores. So how do you feel? Was that a good warm up before your brain pumps some iron? Remember, just a few minutes of TLC can influence a lifetime of learning. Back to you guys in the studio.